Sad news for the 262. After 10 years since it was made, it finally gave up. Yep, you heard me right. This radio is officially dead. Well, not dead. It will still power on, but there's a big problem, as I'll show you right now. See, it powers on like normal, but as soon as I press a button, look what happens. Nothing. None of the buttons work. At all. But, when the screen is down, the up, left, right, and menu select buttons work. The down arrow, the weather snooze button, and the clock buttons do not work anymore. Sad. This thing will never activate for a warning again. SVR, SVR. Oh man. Sad. So sad. But yeah, this radio is now completely out of service for my collection. I got this thing in March, and I did an unboxing of that. That video will be in the description. And I found out why it's getting a crappy signal. For those of you who have seen my EAS videos involving this radio, you notice that it got a pretty crappy signal. And I found out why. I took the radio apart, and I found that the, there's a little wire connecting from the circuit board to the antenna. I'll try to show you with it closed, but there's a wire right there, right next to the little foot right there. The, this little rubber support, not rubber, plastic support. There's a little in, a wire right next to that, a red wire, and it's supposed to connect to the antenna right here. There's a contact inside that connects it to the antenna. And the wire got corroded and just completely just came completely clean off. So I had to use the external antenna, which didn't help. It activated sometimes, but not like it used to. So after two months of having this thing, sad to say, but it's dead. So... Rest in peace, Radio Shack 12-262. I already got a replacement for this radio, which will arrive on the 29th or before the 29th. I will not disclose which radio that is because I want to keep it a secret until I do it. I, I get the radio. I'm not telling you guys what it is until I get that radio and upload the unboxing video. But anyway, see you guys.